Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life, and today we're going to be breaking down the master of the flying gun disarm. Let's check it out, and let's break it down. Now, the man you just got done watching that video goes by the name of Grandmaster Ra Yam, or Ra Lam, or whatever his name is. I gotta tell you what, if I call your name out in one of these videos as a fraud, at the end of the day... It doesn't matter what your name is! Thanks, Rock. Now, this guy runs a security company called SQTS, which stands for Survival and Quick Elimination Tactical Systems. I know a lot of these fake martial arts masters have these, like, awesome acronyms. I would be curious what your guy's version of that acronym would be. So I say go ahead and put that below in the comment section. After going through this dude's website, I noticed this guy has a resume that's like a mile long. And it's pretty damn funny too, so I want to read some of these off to you. He's a 7th degree grandmaster in Kung Fu, a gold krong in Muay Thai, 7th dawn red tip in grappling. Grappling is the act, not the art. So that's pretty damn stupid. Fourth degree black belt in kickboxing. He's a fifth degree black belt in MMA. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know where the hell you're getting that from, but that's that'll be news to me when I find out that that's a thing. A teacher of Tai Chi, first Don in Jiu Jitsu, fifth degree black belt in Krav Maga, fifth degree black belt in Aikido, a fifth degree black belt in something called personal defense, which there's not, that's not a thing, I don't think. Sixth degree black belt in security guard back method policeman. <laughs> so I can't make this shit up. It's on the website, man. It's on the website. This dude's resume would make Buckaroo Bonsai jealous. He's a rocker, doctor, inventor, philosopher. No matter where you go, there you are. Now because his resume said that he is a seventh degree black belt in grappling and a first degree black belt in jujitsu, let's check out his arm bar and see what that looks like. Let's go and get started with the position in itself. If you notice how they start, one leg is draped over his torso, uh, across his neck, and the other one is behind his head. That is a terrible position to actually be able to complete an arm bar. And we'll get into that in a second. I want you to kind of see what happens though with his legs. He locks his legs together and from here he squeezes on the guy's head. And for some reason that makes the guy grimace in pain. Like, dude, there's no reason for you to actually be in pain there because there's a giant hole in which your head can sit up, which getting back to the arm bar escape here, if you actually attempted to do an arm bar this way, there's nothing stopping that guy from being able to turn into you and sit through into that hole, which again, there'd be no reason for his neck to be in any pain and you would be able to get kind of free at least a little bit from that arm bar. Now you do risk putting yourself in a triangle choke, but I'm willing to bet dollars to donuts that this dude probably couldn't execute a triangle choke to save his life. So for a guy who's supposed to have this grandiose resume about grappling, that is hot dog shit. Now, this dude had so many ridiculous techniques that I had to give some of them names. They were just too damn funny to me. The spinny pointy shoot, the grabby rolly bang, the snatchy throwy pew, the behind the back gangster, the clappy hands no shoot, the behind the back upside down thug life. I think he just shot himself in that one. All right, guys, it's that time. Let's grade this guy. So we do a scale of Dillman's here. One Dillman meaning closer to legit. Five Dillman's meaning batshit crazy. This guy is going to get four out of five Dillman's. I know what you're thinking. Rob, why wouldn't he get five Dillman's? Well, it's because he didn't claim any supernatural powers or abilities so far anyway. He lied about his resume. It's clear he doesn't know what he's doing on the ground, especially from that horrendous arm bar. It's clear he doesn't really know how to handle or disarm a firearm very well. 
If you would like to be able to toss in your thoughts on your Dillman's, uh, go ahead and just sign up for our membership program. If you're a part of our membership program, you get those emojis, you'll be able to toss out your own Dillman's and let us know what your grading is on these things. I still want to know what you have to say about them anyway, memberships or not, but it is cool. Everybody who's become a member, it, it really helps us a lot. It allows us to be able to continue to grow the page. So I appreciate that. Final thoughts here. Something that take note is I'm not trying to pick on these people. What I'm trying to do is call out con men and frauds who are blatantly ripping people off and taking their money when they have no true experience in the thing that they're claiming. Or they're going to get people seriously hurt or killed with the bullshit that they're teaching. Somebody who doesn't know martial arts whatsoever might be flipping through and hire a gentleman just like this or actually hire him for their personal protection needs. If they do that, they would be hiring a fraud, which means that it's putting not only their life in danger, but the fraud's life in danger too. Because unfortunately, some of these people are delusional enough to really believe the lie after a long period of time. That is dangerous. That will get somebody hurt or killed. I'd really like to know your thoughts about this particular gentleman in the comment sections below, so go ahead and toss it out there. As always, I appreciate the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and memberships. Uh, if you enjoy what we're doing, feel free to become a member. Uh, if you enjoy what we're doing, feel free to share it around so that way we continue to grow. And as always, keep the martial arts legit.